six months after this video was taken, the young man in the video, Adam Lanza, would shoot his mother four times in the head while she slept. What video or recording is perfectly innocent, but becomes terrifying, when you look into the story behind it? My mom and I recently watched one of those 20 over 20 shows, and they were talking about a woman who went out drinking one night, and was never seen again. She had gone back to one guy's apartment, but hotel footage showed her leave shortly after arriving, and the guy in the apartment swore he didn't do anything to her. But they kept interviewing this one guy, who was the last guy to see her alive. They stopped at a gas station, and he claims that she started talking to another guy, got in his car and left. He played the whole, if I had only known, I wouldn't have let her go, act with tears and everything. Well, there's footage of him at his job a couple days later, and the footage is super generic. He has a cooler on a rolling cart, and he's putting it in a freezer. He worked for a food production company. When the police interviewed his boss, they asked to see all of her footage, and she obliged. When they got to that part of the footage, him putting the cooler in the freezer, she told police to stop. She said that those coolers were used to store granola bars, and there was zero reason for those bars to be put in the freezer. The girl's body was in there. He took it out back, and burned basically everything in a barrel down the alley a couple days later, but it was before the police had seen the footage, and he had bleached his entire van before police could search it. This surveillance video of Timothy Pidson. It just looks like he and his mother are checking into a hotel, but in reality it is shortly before his mother kills herself, and leaves behind a note saying Timothy is safe, but will never be found. He is still missing. The dating game. The concept appeared innocent enough. A woman chooses a bachelor out of the three available contestants and they go on a date. However, the game in 1978 turned dark when serial killer Rodney Alcala was nominated to be a contestant and actually won the game. The contestant refused to go out with him on the date because she thought he was actually creepy afterwards. She dodged a bullet. The TV show The Willis Family, that had two seasons on TLC. The dad was super controlling of his 12 kids and wife and just gave off creepy vibes. I was shocked though to find out, that he had been, r asterisk ping his own daughters four years with the oldest saying that m asterisk and started, when she was three. All 12 children were homeschooled, and did dance and wrestling, but only with each other. They were so isolated from other people. He was also strict about his daughters saving themselves for marriage even though he was r asterisk ping them. There's a clip from the show of him discussing all the kids building houses on his property so his future grandchildren would be close by. It's like he was trying to set up his next victims for when his daughters grew up. The worst part is the mom knew for a while but didn't do anything about it. It was a family friend, that ended up reaching out to authorities, which led to his arrest and sentence of 40 years. It's super creepy to see clips of the show knowing what was happening behind closed doors. The song and Mary sings in back quotes all dogs go to heaven about wanting a loving home. While recording, the voice actress, Judith Barcy kept crying. Her home life was awful. Her father was abusive to both her, and her mother, and would often threaten to k asterisk LL or hurt them. Judith died before the movie came out. She and her mother were k asterisk LLED by her father, and then he k asterisk LLED himself. She was 10. There was a picture of a 16 to 17 year old girl floating around very briefly years back. It was just an innocent picture of some teen posing for a photo. Look deeper into it, and it turns out the girl was from a rich family, and had a drug problem. She got into an argument with her dad, stormed out and stole his car, did a bunch of coke, then crashed into a bridge going hella fast. She was k asterisk LLED instantly. As sad as that is, the f asterisk ck up part, is why the photo was being passed around. 
Somehow the photos taken as the scene of the crash found their way online and horrifically cruel people decided to send out fake memorial emails to this girl's family. Opening the email seemed innocent enough. A heartfelt subject about how terrible this was, a photo of this girl before she died, but scroll any further and there were the pictures of her corpse with messages taunting her loved ones. I found one of these messages and her body was not in one piece. It was mangled. Seeing your daughter's corpse is one thing, seeing it in that state is something else, but to have people playing with it online for no other reason than to hurt you is unthinkable. This video of a band performing in a bar in Thailand. Minutes later, the entire place catches fire and more than 60 people are de asterisk AD. Also, the band's name is Burn and the song they are singing is Linkin Parks in the end. There was a celebrity in the UK called Jimmy Savile who presented many BBC programs in the 1970s, especially ones with a younger audience. He did a campaign for seatbelt awareness, and was a patron for many charities for the vulnerable. He was probably the most loved celebrity for decades. After his de asterisk ATH he was revealed as the country's worst child s asterisk ex offender who used his fame and proximity to children to abuse them. Any picture or TV footage of him near kids, was probably shot just before, or after he'd assaulted someone. Back in the 90s, there was a popular hit by a band, named Soul Asylum called Runaway Train. Younger folks may have heard it on classic rock stations. It's a soft power ballad with slightly melancholy lyrics, which was pretty typical for the 90s. The video is not typical. I can never not cry when I watch it. It features the pictures of over 30 missing children. There were several versions for different regions and countries. The Australian version features missing backpackers who were later found to be M asterisk R D E R E D by a serial K asterisk L L E R. 26 children were found because of this song, but M asterisk R D E R S were also solved because of it, while at least one runaway was found and forced back into a B U S asterisk. At least one child in the video is still unaccounted for. The comment section is heartbreaking, with the top replies from family and friends of those featured. It's a complex tangle of optimism and bleakness, lurking beneath an innocuous emo song. Dr. NASA sports medicine videos. He's one of the docs for USA Gymnastics, and has a ton of videos on his website of him demonstrating various sports med techniques and treatments. It looks professional on the surface. The thing is some of his techniques are totally made up. Some techniques he demonstrated on video he would digitally penetrate, finger, young girls in the V asterisk GINA and A and asterisk S. He performed these techniques on hundreds of young girls under the guise of it being for their health and sometimes directly in front of their parents, sometimes while aroused. Watch Athlete A on Netflix, if you want the story on this. Next door neighbor security footage of a disturbingly calm Chris Watt loading up his work truck in the morning with the bodies of his recently strangled pregnant wife and two young children, to dispose of them. Absolutely f asterisk cked up. In 2016, YouTube Brittany Louise Taylor uploaded a video titled I'm engaged and pregnant. She talks about a man she had met on Tinder, and that she is now pregnant. After the baby was born, it emerged that this man was never in love with her, but was just pretending. He had targeted her for human trafficking, and had deliberately got her pregnant, in order to sell her baby. With that information, it's really scary how he looks at her at the end of the video, and how he treats her in other clips on her YouTube channel. Fortunately she escaped the situation, and got a restraining order. The scariest thing about this is, that he didn't go to prison, and went on to impregnate and marry another Instagrammer, who has since disappeared from social media. Be careful when you swipe right, kids. Can't find video of it but this happened in 2004. Guy named John Sharp lived in the suburb of Mornington in Victoria, Australia, with his wife Anna and two-year-old daughter Gracie. One day Anna, who was five months pregnant with a boy, and Gracie suddenly vanished. 
John Sharp made a tea replay to his wife to come home, that she and Gracie were missed, and he loved them both so much, etc. A few days later police charge a man with the M asterisk RDERS of Anna and Gracie. That man was John Sharp. John Sharp shot his wife in the head with a bow and arrow, K asterisk LLING her. He then shot his daughter. The first shot didn't K asterisk LL 2 year old Gracie, so he pulled the arrow out of her head, and shot her again. He dismembered the bodies, bagged up the parts, and dumped them at the tip, basically landfill, if you will. He'd first buried the bodies in the backyard, but dug them up, after he became worried he'd be found out. He'd even gone so far as to send flowers to Anna's mother overseas, pretending she was still alive, when in actual fact she was buried in the backyard. He got 35 years, and from what I've heard, he spent most of it in solitary, because literally every other prisoner has tried to K asterisk LL him. The video from June of 2012 showing a 20 year old man playing Dance Dance Revolution at an AMC theater in Connecticut. He is being unknowingly recorded from behind by some people who spotted him, and they are both mocking him, and admiring his skills at the game. Six months after this video was taken, the young man in the video, Adam Lanza, would shoot his mother four times in the head while she slept. He would then drive his car to the nearby Sandy Hook Elementary School, where he would M-asterisk RDER 6 adults and 20 children who were between the ages of 6 and 7. During the shooting, he yelled ABUS asterisk and obscenities at his victims. One student reported that he heard one of his classmates cry out help me, I don't want to be here. And Lanza replied well, you're here. Upon hearing the sirens of responding police units, Lanza pulled out a 10mm pistol and shot himself. No motive for the shooting was ever found. A lot of people probably remember Minecraft Family, a wholesome Yatub series in the early days of Minecraft where a family, the son, the person who made the videos, his dad and sister, would play together. It was funny and a great part of my childhood. I went to rewatch the series and some comments were referring to a draw my life video he made which revealed his father was actually very ab asterisk sive to his mother and himself during those times, and that playing minecraft was the only time his family felt normal. That broke my heart, and I couldn't watch the series, or see it the same way. In 2004 a woman named Rachel O'Reilly was brutally m asterisk rdered in her home north of Dublin in the Republic of Ireland. A few days later, while the police were still investigating the m asterisk rder, Rachel's husband and parents appeared on the Late Late Show, a national Friday night talk show to discuss the horror they were facing. Rachel's father was a shell of a man who barely spoke a word, he was so crushed. It turned out later, that the husband was the M asterisk RDERER, -E and had executed an elaborate plan, so that he could be with another woman he was having an affair with. He sat there, beside the devastated parents of the woman he viciously bludgeoned to DE asterisk TH, and told a pack of lies to them, and to the millionaire, so people who watched that night, keeping a straight face throughout, and acting like a loving widower. It retrospectively makes your blood run cold. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. For more videos.